You know, I'm sick and tired of saying potential spoiler alerts on this show, so from now on, whenever there's a potential spoiler let's talk, I'm just gonna do this. Snake kills Dumbledore. no doubt about it that one of the most requested Let's Talks on this show is on the upcoming film, Godzilla vs. Kong. Announced at the 2014 San Diego Comic-Con after the release of Godzilla, Godzilla vs. Kong is the fourth installment in the legendary MonsterVerse franchise. It's currently in pre-production and will take place after the upcoming sequel, Godzilla King of the Monsters. And on top of that, it'll be the first time that these two monsters have fought each other in almost 60 years. So what are my thoughts on this upcoming film in the MonsterVerse franchise? Well, given that it is a King Kong movie, I am looking forward to it. I think it has some great potential and can overall be a really fun time at the movies. Plus, it's going to be interesting to see this Kong from Kong Skull Island take on the legendary Godzilla, considering that both of them come from a more realistic tone. Plus, the producers and director have stated that the film will be a lot more action-packed, much like Kong Skull Island, and won't tease the monsters like Gareth Edwards' Godzilla. And it's funny to think that a remake of these two monsters duking it out has been around since the 1990s. Back in the 80s and early 90s, during the success of the Heisei Godzilla films, Toho had considered doing a remake of King Kong vs. Godzilla around the year 1990, the same year that Universal opened Confrontation and were considering doing a King Kong remake of their own with director John Landis. However, due to the massive clusterfuck of legal issues that have been around since the 70s, Toho decided it was too complicated to bring Kong back. So they decided to replace Kong with another king in the 1991 film Godzilla vs. King Ghidorah. However, after the success of that film, Toho thought about doing Godzilla vs. Mechacong. But again, given the similarities to King Kong, they decided to scrap it and instead make Godzilla vs. Mechagodzilla 2. And since the cancellation of those two Toho films, many fans have really wanted to see these two go at it again. But of course, all this falls into the hands of the director, Adam Wingard. Now, granted, I haven't seen most of his films, but given he has a lot of experience in the horror genre, I can kind of see him giving this movie not only an action-packed tone, but also a scary horror film aspect. One of my biggest issues with the 2014 Godzilla was the fact that they were building it up where this was going to be the same tone as the 1954 Gojira. But unfortunately, they went with more of a route with the Showa-era Godzilla films, where Godzilla's more of the hero in the film and not the scary monster that terrorizes civilians over the symbolism of nuclear destruction. And it was unfortunate that Toho had to do it right with Shin Gojira the following year. So Adam does have great potential to make this a scary monster movie while also being action-packed. It makes me wonder, what else did he work on? <laughs> a little concerning. Then of course we have to talk about the casting of the film. Now granted not many people have been cast yet in this upcoming film, however the only person that's been listed on IMDB is Chinese actress Xian Zhang, who you may recognize as one of the main protagonists in the Ang Lee film Crouching Tiger Hidden Dragon. And I've gotta say whatever character she's playing is a great casting choice because Zian is one of my favorite oriented actresses, and I think she'll do a brilliant job in this upcoming film. But something I'd honestly like to see the studio do is bring back characters from the previous films, most notably those from Kong Skull Island. Now, although granted Tom Hiddleston and Brie Larston would be ideal choices in the role, you gotta remember that there was a 40-year gap between Kong Skull Island and Godzilla vs. King Kong, so it would only make sense for them to be put into elderly makeup prosthetics. Kind of like how they did in Prometheus, which honestly wasn't half bad. But of course we have to talk about the main premise of this film, the monster mash between the two kings. Now the way I see these two monsters duking it out in this film is on the premise of realistic settings. The battles will mostly consist of two elements, power and strength. While Godzilla does have more of the firepower with his atomic breath, King Kong himself will probably have the greatest strength and will probably give Godzilla a good beatdown. 
However, Godzilla will most likely push him back with the atomic breath and use the strength of his tail to duke out Kong. Although if Kong does what he did in the original poster for King Kong vs. Godzilla, that'll be fucking awesome. It'll also come down to the two fighting not over rivalry, but more over territorial terms, kinda like real animals do today. Both see each other as the Guardians of Earth, and while they both can't verbally talk to each other, they do see each other as the opposite threat, and will fight to the death to protect the planet. And in a sense, I can see them fighting maybe about two or three times in the film. Also, we have to see where King Kong has been in the last 40 years, as well as the aftermath with Godzilla in the previous film, Godzilla King of the Monsters. However, this is gonna sound crazy, but I think the ending will be kinda similar to Batman v Superman Dawn of Justice. You need to save Mothra! Save Mothra! Why did you say that name? No, no, not at all like that, although that would be hilarious. What I mean by being similar to Batman v Superman is actually another opponent arriving on the battlefield, most notably another giant kaiju. But in this sense, this kaiju would actually be the main antagonist, and in the end, Godzilla and Kong would put aside their differences and fight this other monster. Now, in terms of which monster I would choose to fight the two opponents, I would have to actually go with Gigan. A lot of people consider King Ghidorah or Mechagodzilla the arch-rival to the King of the Monsters, but honestly, I would consider Gigan one of the greater villains in the Godzilla universe, and it would make sense to introduce new monsters in this legendary franchise. And while I could kind of see them updating the design, I want them to stay true to the original Showa-era Godzilla films. Now this leads to, of course, the big twist in the movie. Who will win in the final battle? Well, given the fact that Godzilla and Kong would most notably fight to the death to defend the planet against Gigan, it would actually be a nice little homage if they actually did a fight similar to Dragon Ball Z at the beginning of the Saiyan Saga where Goku and Piccolo fought Raditz. Now in that sense, with the Dragon Ball Z stuff added in, you can kinda see where I'm going with the ending of this film. The way I see the ending going down is that the two monsters are outmatched against Gigan, and to overall save the planet, King Kong would sacrifice himself, put a headlock on Gigan, and tell Godzilla to fire his atomic breath at Gigan's stomach, instantly killing both of them. And honestly, it would make sense because King Kong is known to die in most of his films, and given if the legendary monsterverse continues to be a huge success, they will most likely want to continue with Godzilla. Plus, that would be kind of a new and fitting end to King Kong in this franchise. And in that sense, with Kong dying in the end, it would actually make for a sad ending similar to the original King Kong films. Now, if you're wondering what I would do with the follow-up sequels, I might save that for another time. But overall, I am definitely looking forward to Godzilla vs. Kong in 2020. I think it's got some great potential, it's got a decent director at the helm, a cast yet to be determined, but one of them seems really interesting, and honestly, my premise of the film would be kind of a good idea to follow on. However, we're gonna have to see how Godzilla King of the Monsters turns out before we get our hopes up with Godzilla vs. Kong. And considering how that film is getting some massive hype, I'd say the legendary Monsterverse is in good hands. to you guys. What are your thoughts on Godzilla vs. Kong? Do you like my ideas? And what would you like to see in the film? Let me know in the comments section below, along with what you want to see in the future of the MonsterVerse franchise. So, until the next video, like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next video. This is Big Jack Films, signing off.